everybody, welcome to the channel, The Plumbing Gurus. My name is Clayton. In this video, we're gonna be going through a poly B that we did, so stay tuned. Let's jump into this video. If you're from Calgary, Alberta, this is the video you wanna watch if you're looking to get your poly B done. Let's jump into this and let me show you how this process is done. All right, so the first thing that we usually do is we locate all the water lines. We try our best to track and kind of figure out exactly where everything is going. There are times where we have to cut a hole and sometimes that hole doesn't work and we can't use it. On a big job, we'll maybe have one or two holes that we've cut that we just can't use. But most of the holes, we really try as hard as we can to make sure that every hole that we cut into the ceiling or into the drywall is there for a reason. So I'll kind of go through with you and kind of show you a few little holes that we did. So we have a hole here, a couple holes here. Now this is a really, really big house. As you can see here, as we come back over to here, we've got a hole here, a bunch of water lines. Sometimes what happens is it's difficult to pull the poly B out. So what we'll do is we'll actually just reroute new water lines to the locations, to the fixtures, instead of pulling all the poly B out. Definitely helps with not making as many holes. Holes in the ceiling are quite expensive to fix so we try to limit the amount of holes that we do through the ceiling walls aren't so bad but ceilings are quite expensive so in this room here unfortunately we had to do a few more holes than we expected there was a couple reasons first reason is because all these joy spaces and actually all the walls and everything in this house were insulated so it made it really difficult to fish lines through joy spaces so if you look here I have one two three four five holes in a small room and unfortunately that's just kind of the way that it went on this room here but that's just how it goes sometimes. So what we'll do on all of our poly B jobs is we'll run all the hose bibs from the hose bib location back to the mechanical room. And what we'll do is we'll always put a shutoff valve on and then we'll also put a drain valve on on top. Here in Calgary, Alberta, it does freeze in the winter time and you do not want to have water onto your hose bibs and you do not want to leave a hose onto your hose bib. That's very important. The proper procedure, we have a video on it, but I can go through it with you really quickly on how to shut off and drain your hose bibs is you would shut this off in the fall before it freezes and you go outside, open up your hose bib take off your hoses open up your hose bib come down here open this drain valve drain all the water and you leave the drain valve open and you also leave the hose bib open so if there is any water in there and it does freeze the water has somewhere to expand to another thing that we make sure that we do is we any drinking water or any outside hose bibs we'll also make sure that we run that on all the hard so before the softener you won't have soft water going outside or to your drinking faucets hey everybody thanks for watching and if you are from calgary alberta i'll leave my email address and my phone number right here, contact us and we'll shoot you an estimate on your poly B job.